What's up, everybody? Welcome to the cooking show. Bam, bam, bam. Whoa. All right, we got another beautiful one. How is it going, Mr. Cat? Oh, yeah, this cookie looking dangerous, man. So, for a food type, we're gonna do a souffle. Oh, yeah, souffle. Uh, souffle are pretty freaking complicated. Yeah. And this souffle is gonna come from Sweden. Oh, our Norwegian friend in the other place that is not Canada. Yeah, Sweden for the win. Let's go. All right, time for the cooking. All right, so we're gonna start by making a cure salmon. As you can see, Mr. Cat is already high for the moment. He's still a little bit my salmon while I wasn't looking. We're gonna first start by mixing some sugar, some salt. I'm gonna put some lemon zest, a little bit of dill. Give it a little crack of pepper. And then we're just gonna mix it all up. After that, we're gonna take out a bowl. We're gonna put the mixture at the bottom. Then we're gonna put the salmon on top. Then we're gonna put more of the sugar salt mix on top of it. And then that go for fridge for like 12 hours. Then we take it out. We wash off all the salt and the sugar. And we're gonna wrap it up. And we're gonna use our gun smoke. And we're gonna smoke this bad boy right there. Cooking anything with a smoke gun is probably my favorite activity. It's so fun and it's looking amazing. So I'm doing that like a couple of times. While our salmon is smoking, we're gonna do our souffle. I'm mixing butter with flour, make a roux, and then we put a little bit of milk in there. This is kind of a special souffle à la Jacques Pépin. Then we add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper in there, a little bit of horseradish, and we cook it until it's super thick like this. Then you want to take this and mix it with some eggs. So we're gonna crack some egg, we wanna beat it a little bit for a couple of minutes, then we're gonna add our bechamel slowly, making sure you constantly whisk. And then it's time to add the cheese. I'm adding a bunch of Gruyere and another type of cheese. I'm not even sure what it is. Then we're adding some dill and a little bit of chive in there. And we butter a cast iron and we can put our filling in there. And that's gonna go into the oven. And put it at 400 for a night until it looks super good. When it looks super good, you can take it out and look at this bad boy right there. Gonna top it off with our Gravlax. A little bit of sour cream in the middle. Gonna grate a little bit of horseradish too. Sprinkle a little bit of dill, a little bit of lemon juice and some olive oil in there and that's gonna be perfect. Not gonna lie guys, this is looking freaking fantastic. I mean, I could eat that for breakfast, lunch and dinner. It smells so good, it looks so good, I, I, yeah, I can't wait. Next, we're gonna do our dessert, we put in some milk in there, a little bit of cornstarch, we mix it all up until it goes super thick. Then we can add a little bit of chocolate, of the chocolate, then add your egg yolks, everything together until you got super thick mixture. We're gonna do our Italian meringue, so we're just beating some egg, then putting a syrup to a high degree, then putting the syrup in the white egg, and then boom, perfect, meringue. And you want to take this meringue and mix it with the chocolate mixture. Going a little bit by a little bit, you don't want to put too much at first. Till everything is super homogeneous and looking fluffy and hairy. You can put it into your ramke. Make sure you butter and sugar the ramke. Then you turn on the rim to make sure it rises super nice. It's in the oven, we're gonna make it a little bit more sweetened with a bunch of fruit and some liquor. We're gonna wait a little bit until those amazing souffle come out of the oven. Look at that beauty. Then you just need to top it off with those beautiful fruit. Sprinkle some powdered sugar on top and boom, just like that, you got a perfect dessert for our day. Look at you. Amazing. That freaking look delicious, come on man. Ooh, this is every Instagram girl dream. Right there. Let's dig into that little souffle, little Jacques Pepin souffle. This is amazing. This is just making me smile right now. I'm just falling in love with it. Everything just melts in your mouth, it's so weird. Now I understand why we don't do souffle in a restaurant. I mean, that stuff is like, oh, it's ready? You better heat it right now, or you don't have time to take picture. But it does look pretty amazing still. Look at that beauty. Conclusion of this beautiful berry um, little souffle. Delicious. Surprise, I'm not. The souffle just does it, man. This is wonderful. This is a perfect dessert. This is gonna. This is flashy. This is. Thank you all for watching. I shall see you on another episode. Peace out.
Thank you.